Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Lady Mina here with this week's event video. We have um, a bunch of interesting things this week. We have a new VIP suit. We have the very first servant skin. A seven day gift, a special gift for anybody who's V11, which if you check in my top left corner, I am not. Um, and a new event we've never had before, and the return of an event we've had many times. Let's go ahead and start with our VIP suit as always. So she is called Moon Dance. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at her tags and her story. Her tags are Court Lantern at 12k, Decent and Sick at 6k, Gilding at 4k, and then Dignified, Gorgeous, and Mature at 2k. And I have double checked, she is the strongest suit in the Court Lantern tag. So if you are, um, super serious about costume duo or costume show she is a suit to add to your arsenal nobody can defeat her her tagline says she is dancing with a hand drum that makes everyone's heart thump with her music let's take a look at her story she comes out in the yellow flower rain as she is dancing her thin silk dress is swirling along her beautiful voice seems to reach the high sky. Peach flowers and plum blossoms are holding their heads high. Even the angels in heaven are attracted and sitting by her side. Baby dear, hurry over to be her dancers. This isn't a solo performance anymore. The bright full moon sends clouds away and gives her a spotlight. What is view collections? That's a new one. Oh, okay, so you can pop over to where the suit is. She is in um, the gorgeous clothes category because she is a VIP suit. All VIP suits are in the gorgeous clothes category. She costs 50 US dollars and we can go ahead and double check that by scrolling all the way to the end where we see that she is 3280 gold and 3280 is $50. Um, I am not the biggest fan of this suit. It's not one for me, but she is still really pretty and I'm sure she has, uh, I'm sure she has her place in someone's heart. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next $50 item and that is unfortunately Levi's new skin. So if you purchase the skin, you will also purchase the, um, you will also get Moon Dance because they're both $50 and anything that you purchase in this game goes to your VIP suit um, completion. So if you purchase Levi's new skin, then you will also get Moon Dance. Let's take a look at what you get when you buy the skin though. Um, you get Levi's skin. There's also a new voice that he will, um, speak with and then you also get uh 6480 gold which if we come up here and we take a look you only get 3280 for buying gold outright so you do get twice as much gold as you would if you were to just drop 50 on the game he also adds another skill to the team so if we come over to Li Bai and we go into suits you can see here his skin is here and we see his um, all servant buff. So all servants get 2000 uh, HP and attack 500. Um, if we come back over here, we can see that all allies obtain the attribute buff. So actually your entire team gets an additional 2500 HP and 500 attack points. To put that into perspective, I have an 8.5 million team. And if I come to Levi, his current attack is 360,000, so 500 attack doesn't do a whole lot. And his current HP is 1,805,734. 2,500 HP is not much. So I will say that this is purely aesthetics. For anybody who's got a powerful team already, a powerful Levi, this is just 
this is fully an aesthetic pack. Like, it's only so that he can look good in battles. It's not giving you much of a bo boost at all. The 6,000 gold is nice, but he's $50. Let's go ahead and take a look at the new skills that he... Well, they're not new skills. Let's take a look at the the way they've changed his skills appearance because that's all it is it's a new look for his skills actually before we do that for anybody who doesn't have Levi let's go ahead and familiarize ourselves with what he does in battle um so his first attack he fights five he hits pe um, one servant five times and he can do that a couple of times I don't think I might be able to trigger his second attack on this fight. If not, we'll keep going forward. Yeah, that's his second big attack. So that's what he currently does. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the skin will offer me. So remember that he fights one servant, five hits, and then he also has an AoE where he hits everybody. This is his AoE, so you can see it's gone from a vertical attack to a horizontal attack. He's not, um, oh, that green, that green one is me. Okay, so he has an attack where he fights uh, five hits on one servant, and you can see now he does four of them at once and then one at the end. He also has the classic single sword slice, um, and then his, there it is, four times and then once, that's his five, five attack. And then he now summons swords from the sky instead of vertically in front of him. Or, well, it seems like he's summoning them from the ground and then firing them up into the sky. I think this is best viewed actually at like two or three times speed. I think that's what it's intended to be seen at. Um, yeah, so you can see it's pretty, it's more impressive at faster speeds, but that's his those are his attacks so that's what you'll get if you buy him is just a new voice for him when he comes when you speak to your servants and i wonder if i have servant voice turned on um I go into settings servant voice was turned off so we can hear what levi sounds like right now hey like home you eat how and i don't know if he will speak again in here he won't, and he doesn't. He he might speak during battle. But that is the same as always. So it does say we get a new voice, so it'll be a new voice in here. So I wonder if I click on the suit, can I hear the voice? Hey, we can it's a longer sentence i have no idea what he's saying um but he does get a new uh chat when he op when you speak to him although i gotta say i do prefer the original one he sounds so much more friendly um speaking of <laughs> levi is quite an interesting character if you don't know much about him this might be a good moment for me to mention this levi is a real human he did live at one point um and i can ha and uh i can look up some more information about him in a moment uh and post that into the description but he was a poet and he called himself the uh or he styled himself as the wine poet you can see here that his passive two skill says after drinking Levi has more desire for battle and gains 12 percent more attack so in in reality he was somebody who um found his way to the emperor's court as a court poet and as long as you gave him some wine to drink he could spout poetry all night and it was evidently some of the best poetry anybody had ever heard in fact levi's poems are quite fun to read many of them do not translate to english very well which is unfortunate but some of them do i will have some links to some of his more famous poems in the description as well so that's levi and his new skin i was debating about buying it but it occurs to me that for fifty dollars I could buy myself a new microphone or something else in real life. So 
I'm a little too practical for this. I will also say that if we come over to the notice, and I do need to collect this anyway, so for a new year gift, they have given us 500 gold, five PK paper, two advanced mate boxes, two uh, food box A's, and two love, um, two of these returned echoed hearts. So make sure to collect that. It's your New Year's gift. They will probably give us even more for uh, Lunar New Year, which is, I believe, in February. Let me go ahead and take a look at the announcement here, and we're going to scroll down to um, where it tells us about Levi's crane, um, crane recluse. A man should live his life to his heart's content. All birds fly away, leaving him alone in this world. So, you see he has a new exclusive skill effect and a new standby voice, and um, a crane recluse will be back later. Please wait for its return. So, we don't have to worry about this one not coming back. It will come back. Now, will it come back the same? That's the question. We don't know if it's going to come back for the same price or for more money or if it's going to come back in another cursed gotcha like the hamster ball event. But if you don't buy Levi right now, don't worry. He will be back. Let's see what else we have today. Um, we have a seven day gift here in dance. Nope. I, it's in curiosity. I don't know why that confuses me. It's in curiosity and correct me if I'm wrong, but have we had this one before? It looks really similar to some of the other ones that we've had before, but it's a seven day gift and whether or not it's returned or, or not doesn't change the value of a seven day gift. So... Seven day gifts come with two chat items, a chat, um, an avatar frame and a chat box, and those are worth 1100 gold. Um, four tickets at 180 gold a piece brings it to 720 gold. Two lotus is worth 900 gold. And then you also get 300 gold, making this a 3,620 gold value gift for only $5. So if you like the chat box and you are a VIP player, um, it's not a bad idea to buy those seven day gifts. I think they're a wonderful value for what you get. The final item that we have for VIPs is a V11 chat frame. I do not have the V11 chat frame, but wait here does. Wait Hurt has it. We can see it here on her character. Okay, so I hope Wait does not mind, but she does have the new chat frame right here. We can see it. It's an animated chat frame, so if you are V11, it will be in your mailbox. You will be able to just have it and own it. Um, if we look very closely, we can see, I wish I could zoom in into chats and on these um, frames, we can see that that is, I want to say, a persimmon or perhaps an orange tree with red packets in it. And then it also has a very tiny little character that I am going to be honest, I can't identify. It does have antlers though. Maybe if we come over and we look at it in the chat appearance, we'll be able to see it better. It is listed under events and it is at the bottom. You can see right here. It's actually colored out differently than the other ones because it's a VIP gift. And no, that's even smaller than the other one. I have no idea what that character is supposed to be, but there is a tiny little character involved in that. And that's the V11 gift. Okay, and that is the end of our VIP items, so we can go on to the next things. Let's head over to Curiosity, and we can see here in the weekly tab we have something called Wishland and Curiosity Collector. I'm going to go ahead and cover Wishland now that I have enough gold to do it. This is a very interesting and special event. This is a element only pool for servants what do i mean by that you can see my servant selection here i can choose any element i want and select servants from it i am guaranteed to pull only yang servants if i choose this and furthermore i am at 120 pulls guaranteed the yang server that i the yang servant that i have chosen Baldi is not on here, 
which is unfortunate because he's the Yang servant I need. However, I need Yang fodder and I'm guaranteed only Yang fodder if I do pulls in this. So I'm gonna choose, um, I don't know who I would even build from these, but I'll just choose um, Jug here. So if I were to pull 120 times in a single day, I would be able to get him. I say in a single day because if we come up here to weekly events and we take a look at the rules, we can see that rule number 10 says you can only spend gold pulling 10 times every day and the records will reset every day. I take this to mean that my 100 pull count will reset every day. You can do 10 pulls for 2000 gold and you will also get one pull free for each um, day. So you can see after 119 tries, the chosen servant will appear. Now I am genuinely hoping actually that I'm wrong. And what they mean is that the we get 10 pulls every day because I think what they mean is that we get 10 gold pulls every day and the reset timer resets every day. Um, this matters because we cannot, um, we cannot get 120 pulls over the course of this event, even if we had, uh, if we could pull 10 times every day and this event lasted long enough, we could actually get the 120 and get a free servant, but unfortunately this event will only last for 7 days, so even if you use all your free pulls and this timer and this counter doesn't reset, you still can't, um, you still can't get 100 servants. So that's unfortunate. But it's 100 servants for wood, fire, and water, and 120 for yin and yang. However, uh, I am going to do 10 pulls, but before I do, I want to mention that not only are we getting, in my case, yang fodder, we're also getting these items here, among others. There is a chance that you will pull um, gold. Three Star Servants, Yin Yang Servants, Spirit Fruits, Jade Debris, Special Writ, Silk Scrolls, EXP Box, Coin Boxes, Water, Fire, Wood Debris, which should not be an option because I'm pulling in the Yang, so I should have Yin Yang Debris instead. Jade Debris, Servant Debris, Classics, Advanced Boxes, Pigment A, Recruit Paper, um, EXP Bags, Coin Bags, PK Papers, Pigments, um, and Masterpieces. So they also put a note down here that the odds are based on mass statistics. You may have different results pulling singles. So what that's saying is they calculated all of this believing that people would be pulling 10 at once. So those are the chances of getting things in a 10 pull, not necessarily in the chances of getting it in a 1 pull. So let's do my daily 10 and see what happens. I've got a 5 star sir. I got you right off the bat. I guess I have him now. I didn't really need him, but I have him. And you can see here now I have this different symbol here. So I'm out of gold pools. Um, so now I have... Um, what, are they, what are they even calling these? Wish tokens. Okay, so now I would have to purchase wish tokens. And I do mean purchase. Um, they are only available for real money. You can get one for a dollar. You can get three for five dollars, you can get ten for twenty dollars, and you can get twenty-three for fifty dollars. Are these getting more expensive as we go? Let me do some quick math. Okay, so they are actually getting cheaper as you go down. So for D pack you get one for a dollar, C pack you get one for sixty cents, B pack you get one for fifty cents, A pack is one for forty-six cents. S pack is one for 44 cents and the two cheapest are the SS and SSS packs where each one is 40 cents uh, a piece. So I will say if you are going to be paying for pulls, your math works out best to get the 50 or the $30 boxes. And if I was already going to pull, I would probably just get the 50 box, get my 20 pulls, and also the VIP suit for the week. But that's really good drop rate, actually, so that's useful. Um, I didn't pay attention if I got any servant debris that wasn't just Jug. Let me go into my bag and my debris. Uh, I got a bunch of four-star random debris. I think I just got Jug. Whole Do I have him locked up? Bag, debris. Um, 
I he's right here from his event so it looks like he is just over here yep so now I just have a copy of him he's not debris I do wish he was debris though because then I could trade him out because I don't really so need he... him um well maybe I do maybe I'll build him for a future yin yang team who knows but it's unfortunate that I can't get the servant I really need I could get Lon Ling though so I could just do um yang pulls but I'm not in need of Yang's yin servants as much as I am in need of yang servants but maybe I'll switch it out because if you get these 10 10 of these pulls every day and I get whatever person I'm after every day then I should also do some Kai Wen G pulls now if you're wondering where to get 24,000 2400 gold every day um, do keep in mind that a free-to-play player gets about 11, 9 to 1100 gold daily just completing the tasks and going into achievements and all of that. You can check the gold list or the gold video to find out more about that. I do have um, the VIP um, bonuses activated right now. Uh, so I have honor and supremacy and I might end up getting refills on these two so this is the five dollar refill and this is the ten dollar refill so i might get those as well because that bumps me up to a clean two thousand um every day with all of the bonus gold that you get from having those cards as well as everything i collect from my house and from my errands shop uh so it's totally possible to get the 2400 gold every day like 120 right there and then another 120 and another 120 so sitting in my box right here i already have um it's almost 600 gold so don't worry too much if you if you want to even if you're a free to play player it's still totally possible for you to do at least a couple pulls in that um in this event anyway so with the luck that I was just given, I would I would do some more pulls in this. This is going to be useful even if you don't get the guaranteed 118 or 120 pulls. It looks like you can get these servants with less than that. So, um, oh look, my little symbol changed. It says I have a possibility of getting Yang servants. What if I switch it to the Yin? Yeah, it's just a yin. So you're guaranteed only fodder from the servant that you choose, from the element that you choose. So this is going to be useful even if you don't spend real money on it and you only do the gold pulls. Let's go ahead and take a look at Curiosity Collector. That is our final event of the night and is the weekly event suit. She is quite cheap. She is a rare, so she should be pretty cheap. She's just under 3,000 gold to get her. Um... Let's take a look at her pieces and her story. I absolutely adore this suit before we start. She's way too cute. Unfortunately, her ears are tied to the wig. We can't take them off. I wish they were separate, but she's only a, um, a rare, so we can't be that lucky. Um, she does have the cutest shoes. That's a snowball in her hand. That's a separate piece. I do wish they had given us the ears as a separate piece instead of a snowball. But I digress, um, she also has the cutest little baby leopard next to her. Let's go ahead and take a look at her tagline and her tags. She's animals, um, just like the new pool that we had. However, she's only 4K, so her, um, her tags really don't matter. She's a rare suit. Uh, her tagline says, you will be sorry if you underestimate him. In this white world, some weak howls come into your ear. As you reach your hand to a branch, a snowball hits you in the face. Wiping off the snow, you see a cute baby leopard. Ha! Huh, human! Come to play snowball fight with me! Hey, you better be careful! You and the leopard are playing and laughing in the snow. It's quite cute. And my cat, scratching at the door, can't decide if he wants in or out. He's not coming in. If you can't decide, he's staying out. Okay, so that is Baby Leopard. Let's take a look at her um, 
her event. We've had Curiosity Collector a number of times before. I can't say it's my favorite event. Uh, it's a little too grindy for me, but let's take a look at this. We get the completion prizes uh, every week just for collecting 5,000 event currencies. Let's go ahead and take a look at her store. You can see here each energy is worth 50 gold. Um, well, each energy box is worth 50 gold and actually each currency is worth one gold. Machak, please. He's in here now, so he's probably going to ask to leave in a minute. Why do you like this? Why do you like this? Okay, he's orange, that's why he's like this. Okay. Where was I? Right, Curiosity Collector. So we've had this event a couple of times, we've gone over what the completion prize is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rankings prizes. Because there are two sets, we have the individual ranking prize, which is the usual um, gold tickets, coin boxes, or EXP boxes, and cranes. And then the talent rankings are as well the usual some painting pulls and some pigments. Let's take a look at how to play the game. The only way to get currency is to tap these lightning bolts. The only way to get currency is to either sweep or tap these guys. The only way to get on the talent ranking boards is to combine and send these um, orders out. With every order that you send, you get a certain amount of points. And those are for your talent ranking. So that's how that works. You get another energy every 10 minutes. So over the course of the event, we will get 1,008 energy. We get 500 um energy from the task list for a total of 2008 or a total of 3016 currency the whole suit costs 5840 currency so she will cost 2824 gold um, that's pretty much the way to play. You can pull up collection and you can see how everything combines into everything else and how close or how far you are from getting something. There is a lot of different things. Um, flower seed boxes contain roses and fruits. Fruit baskets contain fruits. Fish gear contains fish. Water gems. Um, Wish Lotus brings you clothes. It's There's a lot to go on in this event, but it gets a little... Um, it's a little grindy for me, so I usually just skip it and take whatever I can get from the regular ranking board. Hello, cat. You're scratching at me? Why? What do you want? What do you want? He's here being obnoxious. Um, so that is the, um, oops. That's all we got for this event. Um, and that's all we have for this week. I will catch you all in the next one. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.